So I graduated eight years ago as a communication engineer and in 2013 I started something called Amateur Club. It's a very small training center for children to introduce them to STEM. So I was uh, teaching them how to code, design, work with electronics and stuff like that. But unfortunately I lost that center during the 2014 war and financially I couldn't reopen it. And directly after that, I got an, a life-changing experience where I participated as a, one of the emerging leaders for Tech Women program in San Francisco. I returned back to Gaza trying to be more as a leader, trying to change stuff. And I went to Gaza Sky Gigs as I knew the director, Eliana, and I wanted just to share the ideas with her about what I've learned, that, uh, the initiatives I wish to do and work on so she engaged me to involve with Gaza Sky Geeks and only a month after that I started working at their uh, mentorship and uh, women's inclusivity coordinator and we've been really able to achieve amazing things with Gaza Sky Geeks regarding women in Gaza it's a very conservative community and also we are under conflict so we had a lot of challenges to overcome so uh, we started with a lot of stuff. First of them is that we had um, a lot of small programs where we keep women engaged, like uh, we had one called Intaliki, then we had Gaza Gigets, then we had our female coding club, all that, because we discovered that women takes longer time to engage. So you need to involve them early, have them, let's say, have all the time to, get the shite go away, get used to it, prepare their ideas, get stronger with it, get more confidence so that they uh, are stronger when they apply. They have um, confidence in themselves when they pitch their ideas. So they have more potential to succeed. And other than that, we also found that we, in Gaza specifically, and I you know maybe in a lot of the Muslim and Arab countries, that you need to inclu include and engage families. You can't just keep them away. So to really be successful, you need to have all the men in these women's lives engaged. They, you need to invite them to the conversation. You need to have them involved. You need them to have them understand what actually their girls are involved with what they are doing what they are passionate about because all of our men our fathers husbands brothers they care about us they it's not like they are our enemies that are stopping us from achieving our dreams but the thing is that sometimes they don't understand and sometimes they don't know that there's other opportunities than what is uh, they are used to so just by letting them expose to that and see their girls pitching, see them involved in the startup sense, see how passionate they are about their ideas, change everything. Uh, about this young girl who engaged with us at the beginning with a small program called Technovation. Technovation is a um, like a volunteering program all over the world where you bring uh, young girls from mid mid school and high school and you teach them how to code and then you teach them how to prepare a business and then they pitch it and it's a competition i nominated a couple of them to participate in a program called tech girls it's similar to tech women but it's targeting girls in high school and it brings them to a camp in the u.s for three weeks so when they came and uh, the three of them were accepted they went to the finals and then they got one and uh, she was the most smart, passionate girls I, girl I ever met. But then she had this very caring, protective dad who was, it was a challenging idea. It was something new to just have his girl travel from Gaza to the US. It's something very, very difficult for a parent in Gaza. So it took me really a lot of work, more than two months, just to be able to start the conversation with him, uh, convince him that this is, this opportunity will change his life, girl, his, his daughter's girl, uh, life. And especially that she will be able to be intro introduced to all this new sector early in her age. So this will be before she decide what to study. So it will change a lot of things for her. But he was a little bit difficult and um, he wasn't open to the idea at all. And then I thought maybe then the final step I, I had to do is that I um, had her pitch her idea in front of uh, 
international audience for one day and I invited him because I thought that maybe he have never listened to her he've never saw her he never saw her passion so I thought maybe if he just came and listened to her things will change and it's changed forever maybe for that family because he's really got emotional he was so proud of her he said that he've never heard her pitching in this way he've never known that she was this good in English that he knows how to code this perfectly so after then he was so open the girl was able to come she participated her life changed she go back so involved and now she started to really think how to change her community how to involve more girls and I know that if we only succeeded with the first one because Jumana was the first girl to be able to participate in this program things will be very easy after and that was true because this girl that this year there's another girl who's participating and I'm sure that this will continue happening because they all look to her now and they know that if her protective conservative dad agreed then it's safe it's nothing dangerous and it's something very it, it gives a lot of potentials for the future so that was one thing that we did and we successfully had it happen at the beginning as any family in Gaza, my family was so supportive. They had me study what I wanted. They've mm -hmm. never pushed me to study something else. They've been always supportive for me to find uh, any kind of job I wanted. They've never restricted me from going out or having to come back in a certain time. But the only thing is that my father was, an, as any other father, he was so strict on traveling. So even that I got a lot of opportunities and I got a lot of master scholarships after I graduated but for him it was always too early and he never wanted me to really actually leave home. So that was the main challenge from my family. But then after I got married things changed. My husband was more open and he was more pushing me that I really need. I have more that I can give and he was so supportive. So I, I was able to travel to San Francisco for the Tech Woman program and even working with Gaza Sky Geeks, I traveled a lot with them. So that happened only after I got married. Yeah, so uh, lately I got a Fulbright scholarship and uh, at the beginning I wanted to continue in uh, engineering but after working with Gaza Sky Geeks I really felt that I need some business skills and I really need to learn more about entrepreneurship so that's why I changed it and uh, now I'm doing a master in business uh, focusing on entrepreneurship and yes my husband had to sacrifice a lot for us to be able to come here because not even me I left my job but he had to also leave his job for two years to be for us to be here and for me to persuade my dream but I think what made it make us be able to do this is that from the beginning we agreed on what our goals were and we we both have a similar destination so we both know where we want to go so and we both agrees that in each period one of us will have the time to do something for themselves so let's say now I'm doing my MBA but after I'm done if he decided that he want to do something for himself then I will be able to support with that so we are taking it one by one so each one of us do something and the other support support the whole way but the main thing is that you need to have him understand each little detail of what we are doing so even the little things he need to know about it he need to be engaged because if you want him to support he need to understand he need to know how important this is it for you the other thing is that you really need to share some kind of stuff to do together because if i'm doing something totally different than his goal then for him to be supportive will be a little bit difficult because he will be giving something and it's not very easy for him to give something so from the beginning you really need to agree and that's why we encourage the girls that they need to have some kind of goal set at least to know where she was going because when she she get to know the man she was getting to marry she need at least to share with him that I'm planning to continue my degree to be a professor or I'm planning to start my own business so that just that he had heads up on where she's planning to go